Hello guys! We've been asked this question for so many times. How to plan my loop? Well, worry no more since we're here to help you plan it with no hassle at all. Now, there are two possible scenarios. The first is that you already own the hardware. To be precise, you have a GPU, a motherboard, and a case to put it all into. In the second scenario, you're building a new PC and you already know you will go for the custom loop liquid cooling. Let's start with the first scenario. You will need to find a radiator that will fit the case along with the fans. And what we mean by fitting is that it must be all put physically in place, not just in your heart. How can you tell if it can all fit in? Well, in 99% of cases, the chassis manufacturer will clearly state the exact radiator size that matches your case. So check your case specifications. How much cooling power do we need? In short, 120 mm radiator is enough for any mainstream CPU. If you're planning to overclock the CPU, add one more 120 mm radiator. But you know there's a 240 mm radiator that is basically 220 mm radiators spliced together. But with the difference being that with two radiators, we need four fittings. Whereas with one, we only need two for the same performance. So if you need more cooling power, go for the bigger radiator. However, choosing the maximum size and thickness of the radiator that can fit in your case is always recommended. This will bring lower operating temperatures and lower noise emissions, which are the key features of custom loop liquid cooling. Same goes for GPUs, 120 mm radiator can handle it. Make sure your case has additional room to fit the pump and reservoir on the reservoir pump combo unit. Choosing the water block for the CPU is easy, as long as you know what socket do you have. However, when we're talking about a graphics card, there is a plethora of models. But don't worry, we got you covered. Check www.ekwb.com forward slash configurator for a water block that is available for your GPU. It's best to get all the necessary equipment and accessories that can help you during the building of the liquid cooling loop. Angle adapter fittings are always welcome. Check if the kit you have chosen has any angle adapters already included and how many. Two or three 90 degree angled adapter fittings are welcome for any loop that you're building. If you want it all to be neat and tidy, adding more 45 degrees and 90 degrees fittings will make it all easier. To be clear, it's not necessary to have a handy filling bottle and the EK Elite tester, but oh boy, how much faster it is to complete and test this loop with these accessories. The second scenario. You're building a brand new PC and you already have eyes set on a custom loop liquid cooling. We already explained the importance of choosing the ideal case, so pick wisely. Choose a case big enough to accommodate all the cooling power and radiators that will provide the cooling power you desire. You should know the rules of cooling power by now, so just refer to that. Before buying a GPU, make sure that EK already has a suitable water block in store for you, or if we plan to make one in the future. And trust us, we're working full steam on it. Of course, check the EK configurator link for water blocks available for your GPU. The rest is nothing new. Check and count how many 45 degrees and 90 degrees angled adapters you will require to make your tube routing perfect. And again, don't forget the handy filling bottle and the EK leak tester as well. The best thing about EK is that if you have any doubts about planning your liquid cooling loop, feel free to ask the EK community or EK customer support. You heard it so many times before, we care about our customers. No, you don't. We care about our customers. So you can reach us at ekw.com forward slash customer dash care. Hey man, I don't need that official link. We live in the age of social media. Hey man, who do you think we are, boomers? You can also reach out to us via social media, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment sections. We're also planning to open up TikTok. Just kidding. And that is how you plan your liquid cooling loop.